Knuckles. Knuckles. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Technical difficulties. All right, all right. Let's do that take again. <laughs> Knuckles released on Paramount Plus <laughs> over the weekend and is the first spin-off series from the Sonic the Hedgehog movie franchise. Yeah. Of, you know, Sonic 1. Yeah. Sonic, Sonic 2. 2. Sonic 3 Three. is coming up. Yeah. Now there's Knuckles. And man, let me tell you, we watched it. Maggie, yeah. <laughs> what did you think about it? Uh, I had a good time. Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was. I'm really glad they called it a series. Yes. A limited series. Yes. Instead of a movie. Because if that storyline was a movie... I would have been pissed. Hooey doggies. They were like, we're giving Knuckles his own movie, and here it is. Yeah. I would have been mad, because it's not it's not movie worthy. No. But like, give me six 20 minute episodes that's basically the length of a movie. And also has a bunch of random uh, cheesy jokes. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, now some people have been complaining there's not, like that Knuckles is not even in the Knuckles show. I very much disagree with that. Uh, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, there are definitely, they they definitely didn't have knuckles in every scene. No, that they, they didn't. No. Uh, but I mean, you know, like that one episode where the dude just is sung to yeah. about knuckles origins, <laughs> and like there's just somebody wearing a knuckles <laughs> outfit. Yeah. Like that. That's definitely that, a, a, yeah. a blaring example of them saving budget. Yes. <laughs> right? So yes. I mean, like, yeah. And like that's fun again because this is a series on Paramount Plus. Yeah. And also there's like a whole episode where he has to uh, learn to fight on his own. And That's no. the same episode. Is it? Where he's what? like in the in the cage and he... Oh my... It's the same it? episode. Yeah. Because that's how God. he learns. Because he learns Knuckles' origin yeah, and that gives true. him the strength. Hey. Uh, like I said, had this been a two hour movie, the exact same, they just cut out the opening and ending credits, I would have been much lower on this than... I am with it being a series. I guess the expectation for a, a Knuckles show, uh, knowing that Paramount Plus, like that, they're obviously gonna have to like you know skimp on the the budget for it. Like you know, I feel like it makes it a little bit easier to take because it's it's uh, implied it's gonna be lesser than a movie. Like the first episode's really good. I think they they want to trick everybody. Because they put the first episode on uh, on YouTube, so anybody can watch the first episode for free right now. And like, it's really good. Sonic and Tails are in it, and like, you know, it's great. Then the show completely shifts from the second episode forward. So like, don't don't get it twisted. The show could have been called Knuckles and Wade Whipple, or Wade Whipple and Knuckles. Um, probably would have been a more apt because this is definitely Wade's show more than it's uh, more than it's Knuckles show. Like it's it's maybe the Wade and Knuckles show, but it's definitely Wade is the is like even more so in it than even like Tom is in the Sonic movie. Yeah, James like, Marsden. Yeah, yeah, with as much as he's in the Sonic one movie, Wade Whipple is like hundreds of times in this more. Like it's like every scene he's in. Yes, and his family. Yes, his family. Like if you wanted to know about the family tree. And history of the character Wade Whipple, then you were in luck. Because that's what this show is, okay? And it's, but all that being said, it's still fun. I found myself laughing probably too much. Yeah. Like, it probably didn't deserve the amount of laughs, but I was like, this is really stupid, but it's really fun. Yeah, you could tell it's totally got kids in mind. Yeah. Rotting Guaz, I mean, it's definitely. Maggie, let me ask you this. Because while I was talking, I was having a thought. Uh Because I wasn't paying attention to myself. (laughs) So, you know, I made the... the (laughs) (laughs) I made the the statement that because this is a streaming series, not a streaming movie, that I have less expectations for it. So it's easier to take this show as as what it is. Yeah. If they had done that to Good Burger 2... Oh, God. If it had been four or five twenty-minute episodes, yeah, would that have been better than than the movie we got? I don't know. I feel like it. I feel like it would have been. 
I feel like you could cut Good Burger 2 into five episodes of like 20 minutes and it would have been better. Because it I just, it would have felt like it wasn't just dragging the whole as thing much. With Ed's wife and family, like, I don't know. I don't think that was just a lot. I mean, okay, well, let me let me rephrase it, Maggie. What if they did all that that I just described, but the theme song is I'm a dude, you're a dude, That'd he's be a dude. So much better. And like they play that every 20 minutes. Yeah. Because I got to say, I am a warrior doing a lot of heavy lifting for this series. Yes, it is. I mean, every that 20 minutes intro. I'm good enough. Yeah. yeah. And like that puts me in a hopped mood and yeah. really carries me for the next 20 minutes through yeah. the episodes. I will you know? say, excuse me, I will <laughs> say that the soundtrack to the show is pretty good. I am a warrior. No, it's great. Yeah. And like, here's the thing I know everything I'm saying implies that this is not a good show, but I <laughs> promise you, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> fun and fun. Yeah. It's a double F. All right. It's a fucking fun, fun show. Triple F. Fuckers, fine ends, and fobs. <laughs> You've been watching too much kind of funny. I have. I have. <laughs> You've been uh, I'm really watching tired. too much Greg. Uh, nah, I feel, I feel, I'm so, oh man. I'll finish the sentence one of these days. Oh. Uh, shit, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> So yeah. Take out the table. Knuckles. 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 One, knuckles. What more can you say? Spoiler free. Also, Stalker Channing in this <laughs> as Wade's mom. Spoiler alert. We're not in spoilers yet, Maggie. If you care, it's just say something, chat. <laughs> We're going to spoilers. It's okay. 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 No, I mean you, it's not a spoiler. You can no, you can finish your I mean, thought. It just it took me by surprise. I'm like, who in the heck is Stalker Channing gonna be? And of course, it's Wade's mom. And, like, she does a really good job. I she think. does. <laughs> but that whole... It's just... <laughs> I, like, I felt it was less intrusive than the wedding yeah. B-movie in Sonic 2. Yeah. It felt less intrusive than that, but definitely on the same level as <laughs> that. Like, yeah. like it, only because we had been with Wade a lot more... Yes. Made it feel less like yeah. odd that we were yeah. cutting to this. But it was very much like the same thing. Like well, they're like, oh, we're just going to do this whole subplot. Yeah. In Sonic 2, they're like, uh, Sonic tells us, like, oh, we need, to, we need to use a ring to get out of here. What, what place can we go to? Oh, we could go to where the wedding's at. Yeah. You know, that we've barely looked at, touched anything. And then we spend the next 20 minutes with her, with the, her bride, the bride, and her groom, who's yeah. an agent. Yeah, a gun for, agent. For gun, yeah. Speaking of gun agents. Yeah, the gun agents in this. That was a lot. Kid, Kid Cuddy? Yeah, Kid Cuddy. <laughs> the voice of Clay from Trolls Band Together. Listen to that. It always comes back to the fucking Trolls with you, Maggie. My Shut God. up. No, I'm just jealous. I am jealous. Girls like candy. Candy tree. She knocks her up off my feet. Uh, but yeah, it was. I will say one thing. This isn't a spoiler. It's an anti-spoiler. It's a non-spoiler. It's a spoiler that the spoiler is not in there. Oh, okay. It's a spoiler saying there is no spoiler. There's nothing in this movie, the show, this ending of the show, <sighs> that leads to anything. Like I was half expecting like a throwaway line to kind of set up Sonic Three. Either it be Sonic or like a tease of Shadow or something like so even even like a a, a a you know thirty second short trailer like what they put at the end of Captain America the, for the Avengers you know something there's nothing when this ends it ends and it has nothing to do with anything in fact we don't even know like it, where it ends is not in Green Hills not that anybody's moved or anything but like. We technically don't know if we don't know if anything. anybody makes it back to Green Hills or not because yeah. I mean they don't show it. Yeah, not that anybody's in danger uh, or anything. Obviously, it's about bowling. Ba I'll tell you Barry, more later. Barry the Fox in chat said a while ago, someone said theaters had Sonic Movie Three teaser trailer. Son of a bitch! I'm ready. I'm ready I'm for ready. it. I want to see Shadow. I want to hear Keanu Reeves' Shadow. Whoa! <laughs> hey, his face showed up in this series too. Speed. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You're right, Maggie. And Sonic talked about speed. Mm -hmm. The movie. The movie. 
Yeah. Not, mm, not the other stuff. We're not talking about that. All right. Let's get into spoilers. 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 All right, everybody. So we're in spoilers if you don't want to be spoiled. Get away. Here we go. Ready? Can't believe Knuckles was dead the whole time. Oh, oh my, my God. God. What a twist. So crazy. Never gets old. So, yeah. Uh, the whole thing is about Wade's dad is a bowler. <laughs> And also that it's a carry use from like uh, Saw and uh, Robin Hood. Oh, Knights the actor. Princess yeah. Bride. Princess Bride. Yeah. That's yeah. Wade's dad. Uh, yeah. And he's a bowler and was apparently married to uh, Stalker so Channing Jane at some point. And wasn't British at all. And leaves leaves Wade in a uh, TJ Maxx. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's a weird show. And like, but my favorite episode is definitely the rock opera because <laughs> it's so, it's just insane. Like there's no reason for any of it to exist. No. And it feels like they were definitely writing it with like Tenacious D in mind yes. and then just definitely did not get Tenacious D involved yes. in this. And, uh, and you can feel it, but like they do all of Knuckles origin story via puppets and a bowling alley and like black box theater like a yeah. goddamn doctor who episode and from 1976 okay and christopher lloyd is christopher lloyd is in this Pen that's right Pen i can't say he's that. he's a ghost enchilada in a kidnap yeah he's that he's like great scott knuckles when sonic goes 88 miles per hour you're gonna see some serious shit it's pretty great Sorry, I got burp a baby. You're fine. And uh, oh, I'll pause him. Oh, no, no. All right, done. Look at that. Good job, Henry. Um, but yeah, it was uh, the ending at the bowling alley. Uh, <laughs> just, I, you know, I was, at no point did I think when we were told we were getting a knuckle show yeah. that the finale of this is going to take place in Reno, Nevada at a at bowling, bowling alley yeah. and only have. On the oak Wade track. and Starker Channing, and he has to bowl against his dad. Yeah. And also, Wade's sister sucks. Yeah, Wade's sister fucking sucks. Yeah. God. And like, she's not, it's not even that, like, she's bad. Like, I mean, she is, but not, not like a bad character. No. Like, I mean, not like she's a villainous character. No. Like, no, she's just fucking annoying. Like, if the goal was for us to feel about Wade's sister the way, the way Wade feels about Wade's sister, then it. mission fucking accomplished, all right? Hang up the banner and start the fireworks. Mission accomplished. We did it. We got them. We got them, folks. Fuck. <laughs> and then when Wade is on the bicycle and jousts the yeah. guy on the motorcycle, it's a weird show, man. Yeah, it is. It's random. Not, uh, uh, now, Knuckles did fly. He did. Glad he did that when I enjoyed that because that's from the games. Yeah, you know, so that was cool. Love you, Angie. Good night, Angie. Bye, mom. Love you. Thanks for stopping by. Love you. Um, so Maggie, let me ask you this: mm -hmm. Knuckles. Knuckles. Would you recommend people watch Knuckles? Not everyone. I think the people that you know grew up playing the games and stuff at least if they have enjoyed the sonic movies okay yeah then yeah if you like the sonic movies then you should watch knuckles yeah. i'll give you that if you did not like sonic movies no. do not dare try and watch this show because <laughs> no, it you will hate yourself yeah and there's there's a high chance even if you like the sonic movies you won't like this because it's very much Wade's movie, you know? If you enjoyed the the wedding subplot of Sonic 2, there's a good chance you'll like this show. <laughs> if you like Tyler Perry movies. What the uh, hell? I'm just showing. <laughs> like that, Don't that, bring Medea into this. Uh, it's like just that whole wedding sequence just remind me of something that would happen. I feel like Medea would have been there. Yeah. Yeah. Like Medea could have popped out at any point. Yeah. And I would be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I, I would have, actually, I would have made more sense. Yes. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I get it. We, we moved theaters. We're in a Medea movie now. My bad. All right. Let's go back to the other theater where Sonic and Tails are. So, Maggie, let me ask you this. Given Knuckles 
the show, mm-hmm. would you want another Sonic spinoff show? Say a, a Tells or an uh, Amy or a, did, a Dr. Robotnik. Uh, well, Geek Ledger said something about doing one about Eggman. Uh, I'm Dr. Eggman. They said, uh, I'm not an Eggman. Let me find it. Don't make me bad. Somebody, somebody suggested Paramount should make a young egg, Eggman sit, sitcom titled Young Eggman. Uh, <laughs> like Young Sheldon. Yeah, yeah. It would be about a teenage Eggman as he deals with his genius and evil tendencies. Narrated by Jim Carrey and starring the kid who played Young Sheldon. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds like something I would cancel my subscription yeah. for. Like, I think that's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, it's a joke and it's funny and I love that. But if they actually did that, I would hate, I would hate it. I can't fucking stand I don't know. young Sheldon. Why does he even exist? Was Sheldon so necessary that we needed a young Sheldon show? I refuse. Plus, you know how I feel about Big Bang Theory. When, when have you changed your thoughts on that? What, that I don't like it? You don't like it? No, I was anti Big Bang Theory well before me and you even dated. Before me and you even talked to each other, I was anti Big Bang Theory. Because it's not real. They're like, oh, they're nerds. Get it? They're fucking nerds. Look at how fucking nerdy these nerds are. These fucking nerds. God, they're so nerd. Get it? That's the joke. They're nerd. Jock is jock and nerd is nerd. Oh, and beauty. She's beauty and he's nerd. It's, oh. That's the fucking show. That's the whole show. And it's just annoying. All right. It's, it is lowest common denominator, uh, nerd bigotry. All right. Oh, we all dressed up like the flash. Hilarious. Hilarious. And I bet you nobody, nobody that wrote that show is even a nerd. All right. It's probably wrote by fucking Donnie Wahlberg. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> I feel attacked right now. I don't know why I said Donnie, Donnie Wahlberg. You want to know who I was thinking? I said Donnie Wahlberg. I meant Donnie Osmond. <laughs> That's who I was thinking. I don't know why. I don't know. Maggie, here's the thing. All right. You need to know this about me. I have very strong opinions about things I know nothing about. Yep. All right. I know that. I've, I've watched the series finale of Big Bang Theory with you, and it was fun. Maggie, anything else you'd like to say about this? Would you watch a Tales series? I, I think I would. Yeah? I think I would. If it's like kind of set up like this, like let Tales help somebody or a few people along the way, you know, yeah. with like his inventions and stuff, I think I'd really like that. What if it was like each episode Tales, have to, Tales has to help a different famous pilot? And so like one episode would be about like Sully and one episode could be about like uh maverick and another episode could be about like amelia Earhart, and like he's got to fix their planes or something and teach them teach them how to find the the flight within themselves yeah. you know the fight or flight would, would you watch that and like one of them he has to stop <laughs> never mind i'm not gonna say it <laughs> You know exactly. Know. You know exactly I what know. I was thinking, I and I'm, I'm not gonna say it. You know what I was thinking, right? You know what I was gonna say, right? He has to stop <laughs> something <laughs> involving. Yeah. All right. Yes. I'm moving on, Maggie. Anything else you'd like to <laughs> say before we get out of here? No. All right. Let's get no. out of here.